Good morning fellow YouTubers and Merry Christmas. Here is an update to do with Beringer bus station and the paving. Now we've got we've done a bit, I've been doing a bit of testing to see what I like and the plaster coat paint which is what I've just sprayed on here as a test piece um, is not really suitable as I find it's too coarse and it's not really realistic enough on this bit here I sprayed with primer and as you can see it looks exactly the same pretty much as the original fab foam so it hasn't made a huge amount of difference so I don't think that's going to work however I have glued it down and I tested it by gluing it down with PVA to see if that works and that works pretty well our next experiment which has got rocket on it it means that it's a piece of fab foam and I was considering using some scale scenes um, concrete on top so last night I tested the adhesion of the rocket car glue with the paper to the fab foam and that is absolutely solid I also tried the plastic glue but that didn't even stick at all and it soaked through so as a result of my testing I've decided to use the scale seam paving attached to the fab foam using the rocket glue now if you want to save some money once again this is the place to be this is a scale scenes free download kit um, which is their warehouse kit which you can download from their website for free and what I have done is I have downloaded the PDF I've then selected this page which is page number three because this is the bit that I'm interested in which is the paving so this is the paving sheets so what I'm proposing to do is I've now cut this bit of paving now I need more of this so rather than reprint this all and basically I'm still going to use bits and pieces here and there I should imagine from this sheet but what I've done is I've used paint on my computer and what I've done is I have scanned, if I take you over here to my printer I have scanned this into my printer and then what I have then done is I've used my paint software and I have created going back three slabs on one sheet of A4 paper so all I've done is I've cut the slab from there scanned it into my computer used the paint program that came with my computer to then resize it and fit it all on one A4 sheet of paper and then I've got three, three sheets of three slabs on one sheet of A4 paper which can then be ready to cut to create the paving so that is going to be my plan so now through my testing I've now worked out that this is too coarse this is not effective and this one's just right so it's a bit like Goldilocks and the format is the rocket glue is to stick it on with and to stick it to the board is going to be the PVA so now I'm ready to start messing around with the paving on the bus station so I'll let you know how I get on with that and in the meantime I wish you a very Merry Christmas bye for now hello everybody and welcome back to Beringer now I just wanted to show you that I fitted the paving for the scale scenes onto the foam board and this is the effect um, it still hasn't been glued down because I haven't painted the edging yet of the curbs and I'm definitely happy with this version and this is definitely the way to go in my view um, this particular piece I'm going to redo anyway because uh, there was a slight mark on here where the joins were um, but I had what, I've, what I should have done which is my own personal fault is I should have um, when I printed them off I, and printed them in those sheets I should have overlapped them slightly so I would have had one complete sheet so you didn't have these separate joins and for now it's fine and I adopted the policy for the rest of the layout uh, with the, sorry the rest of the paving I don't think you can see it where it's just one sheet where possible and this one's completely like that at the NQ and it just stands out much better and all the way along here so the paving is now done and this is definitely the way I'm keeping it 
um, it's just this particular piece I'm just probably going to redo you might not necessarily notice and I might touch that in you might get away with that plus I'm also going to build a little like I said a little outbuilding for the controllers so they can over oversee the bus station but I'm really really pleased like that because if you just look down now um, it's it just looks I'm, I'm really happy with it actually um, I've run out of ink actually for my printer um, so I have to buy a little bit more I did put a little sign up there as well there's going to be all sorts of signs going up as well once that, and I've done another little bit of the scale scene today I'm going to do that with matchsticks as well because that hasn't been done yet um, so that's another little job that I have to do and there's also a couple of matchsticks missing over that side from where I had it before where I'd laid it across and then I took it out so that needs to be redone <coughs> but overall like I said this is the scale scenes laid on top of the foam board using the rocket glue um, and like I said that's definitely the way to go I mean obviously this piece was the first piece I've done and, and I made a bit of a boo-boo I mean you don't really notice it in all honesty um, I think I could probably get away with it and I could probably just touch that in if I wanted to but it's one of those OCD things that kind of bugged me a little bit so I might end up redoing it um, because I need to get some more fab foam anyway and it's definitely the easiest way and the simplest way and then also the paving slabs are already done I don't have to score them because they're already on the printed paper so I, I'm really happy with this technique and I'm definitely going to keep it like this and I'm then going to paint the kerbs it's going to be the next job as well once that's done and also print off some more posters and things like that to go on the side there um, and and then after obviously I've got a security fence to go on this side and I've got to start making the multi-story so I thought I'd just keep you updated on that um, I hope you enjoy your Christmas and I will speak to you soon bye for now